Hi everybody, I'm Sinead Kennedy, Health and Wellness. Welcome to my Yoga for Cyclists YouTube channel. So today we're going to be looking at all things ankle mobility and ankle stability. Please remember to like and subscribe to this channel so that you never ever miss a video. As soon as I have them premiering for you, you will get notification. I'd also like to draw your attention to a fantastic cycling and yoga holiday that I have coming up in March 2020, where like me, you can escape the cold Irish winter and have a fantastic time in Spain. All right, without further ado, let's get going on all things ankles. Okay, so for today's class, you're not really gonna need anything other than yourself. So we're gonna start off with warming up our ankles and our knees. So it is obviously important to remember that everything is connected in our bodies. So try and roll through the ankle, keeping the foot uh, down on the floor, okay? try. We will be pivoting a little bit later with the heels up but I just want you to try and get the ankles to loosen out. Now, as you can see, the rest of my body is involved, so it's not just about isolating one joint especially. Keep the hands up here, away from the kneecaps. You've plenty of flesh. Let's use it. Let's reverse it. So when we're on our bikes, um, especially, there's really not a huge amount of ankle mobility going on, you know, not in comparison with, for instance, a runner. And you know who has brilliant ankles is somebody who does a lot of hiking or hill walking because they're constantly being challenged on different terrains. There's a lot of instability and they're constantly having to stabilize themselves. So we don't have that so much on the bike. You know, the bike is taking the brunt of the potholes etc okay so just as a general rule we're going to say there's not much activity in the ankles so today we want to get them moving so this is our little warm-up and then what we're going to do is i'll just turn sideways for you is just have a little walk out so we're going to roll to the ball of the foot push the heel down okay try not to just rush through it Take your time and feel the foot rolling. Okay, there goes my knee. We just had a nice crack. <laughs> so don't be surprised if you hear a few clicks and cracks. Okay, don't forget that we need good oils in our diet. Now I do take a lot of oil in my diet, but I'm still clicking and cracking. Okay, uh, I'm going to put that down to age and the fact that I live in a very damp environment. So oils, for instance, avocados, almonds, um, I'm not such a big fan of oily fish, just mostly because it's farmed. Um, you know, and I've seen too many documentaries on farmed fish, so I tend to avoid farmed fish. But I do take evening primrose oils, you can take oil supplements, etc. Okay, so just a really nice warm up, and I know this looks really basic, but you would be surprised. You know, again, we're focusing very much on our feet. Okay, pin the ball of the foot down and we're gonna pivot through the ankle. Now, as you can see, the hip and the knee are involved as well. Why? They're all attached. So what I'm really doing here is I'm rolling into the ball of the foot, out into the baby toes, nice big circle, push down into the big toe. So I'm pretty sure you probably don't smoke, which is great. Okay, but I want you to imagine that you're sort of stubbing out a great big cigar or something, okay? You really gotta get down into it. I can't think of a better analogy, I'm sorry. <laughs> if you've got a better one, you can write it in the comments down below, okay? And while you're there, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel too. Okay, try and reverse it. Okay, now I work with a lot of older people as well as cyclists. And you know, they really have lost the ankle mobility. And it's the whole adage, you know, if you don't use it, you lose it. And it really is true. Okay, so when we lose our ankle mobility, our gait has to change. Let's change feet. The body has to compensate. And then we start to kind of shuffle. Okay, leading us, you know, to being very vulnerable to falls, to slips. You know, if there's any sort of um, unlevel, um, if the pavement is not completely level, you know, that tiny little uh, change in the pavement is gonna cause you a bigger problem than somebody who is lifting their feet, you know? So you might see the way sort of some people really shuffle, they drag their heels. 
and you know the whole body is working a lot harder than it actually needs to okay so you're getting fatigue in the body okay you're putting yourself at risk as well reverse it if you haven't already that's it nice big circles lovely okay now we're going to do a little bit of toe yoga okay and you might think it's a bit crazy but you will be surprised hold on to the wall of the chair if you need to take the feet where they're level and what i'm going to get you to do is come right up on top of your big toe now you're not going to thank me for this i know you're not okay you've probably sat down and turned me off already okay but if you're still with me well done <laughs> okay now you don't need to become darcy bustle here that's the only ballerina I know, okay? But if you know you don't need to become a ballerina here, what we're doing is we're just mobilizing the joint. Okay, so I know it's painful. Okay, if you have bunions, you're really gonna know about this one. And I'm gonna give you a little exercise later that's gonna help with your bunions. Okay, while you're here, let's try and stick out the big toe and keep the other toes curled under. Now my big toe, I'm just gonna show you here with my thumb, is really pushing down into the floor as if I was putting a stamp on a letter, okay? Sorry, now you can't get away with an email on this one, okay? You gotta put the stamp on the envelope. So really push down. Okay, my other toes are curled under, so I'm, I'm kind of doing the splits with my big toe and my second toe. Try, I know you kind of want to look down, but just, just be mindful of the rest of your body, shoulders back, heart above, um, heart up as well okay let's try and switch it around okay now I might need to bend down and give myself a bit of a helping hand here so I'm going to tuck the big toe under and I'm going to pull the other toes out now I need to get down there and physically manually do that now I have it okay <laughs> this is where you start to feel pale and start to pass out <laughs> okay Hold on to a chair if you need to. Now, I know this is murder for a lot of you, okay? Your toes have gone crispy, and that's because we're not using them, okay? They should be dexterous, all right? I'm not asking you to play the piano with your toes, but you do need to be able to move them, okay? So I know it's not pretty, I know it's pretty painful, but do try and do it. And I will give you easier options of these ones momentarily if you just bear with me. Have a go and then if you need to, you can fast forward to the next bit. Okay, let's do it all with the other foot. Okay, so we're gonna come down on top of that big knuckle. Now, this is a cheat's guide, okay? I'm out here in my baby toes. Tuck the big toe under, okay? Creating space in the joint. That's it. Try and relax the rest of the body. Hold on to the wall if you need to. Push down. Okay, and then I'm gonna pull out the big toe, keep the other toes under. So here's my little splits again. So the big toe is pushing down and all the other toes are out the other way. Okay, how long should you hold it for? Well, this is probably way too long for quite a lot of you, okay? So again, you might need to start with the easier version, which I'm gonna show you sitting down momentarily, okay? It will be on this video. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and tuck um, the big toe under and release all the other little toes. Okay, and again, <laughs> okay, this foot is not as well behaved as my other foot. Now it's really murder on this side, okay? Why? Body compensations, um, it's gotten into bad habits. Um, just trying to relax the other foot, I just realized I was really clamping on with it. Okay, now again, you know, we all have different things going on. I'm actually left-handed and left-footed, but my left foot is not behaving as good as my right foot, okay? So I need to work more on this side. The usual, time, 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 okay? <laughs> so we all, if we all had time to stand around all day doing toe yoga, it would be fantastic. I appreciate we don't, but just be aware of our toes. Okay, and then when you're ready, just have another little walk out. That's it. Okay, let's work on a little bit of stability. So we're gonna have our feet directly in underneath us. And what we're gonna do is, I'll just turn sideways, is start off with a very small heel lift. Okay, just start off nice and small. You're beside the wall, hold onto the wall if you need it. 
Watch out for the bum sticking out or for again looking at your feet. Tail under, nice and tall. Okay, it's all about the big toes. Push your stumps down into the floor. Try and lift your heels a fraction higher if you can. Now guys, if your ankles are buckling, get down, okay? You can always put the heels down and start again. Okay, if your ankles are buckling, you have gone too high, go back to where you can actually hold the ankle steady, okay? I broke my ankle some years ago, so again, I really had to work on it to get the mobility back into it. There was no way around it, okay? There is no shortcuts, I'm afraid. Okay, I'm gonna try and lift my heels up. I need to concentrate, I need to glue my uh, eyes diagonally forward. Now I have my big toes really pushing firmly into the floor here. I've got nice ankle stability. Now I'm starting to lose it, they're getting tired. And then I'm gonna gently float down. Okay, now I'm gonna be very general here and uh, pardon me if I offend anybody. Ladies, we generally walk around in a very high heel. Well, I used to in my younger days, okay, not so much now. Okay, and when you think about how hard it is to stand here for any length of time, now I appreciate we used to have like a long spindly heel, but you think about how hard that is on your feet and on your ankles. And you know, we used to do it for, you know, I used to go dancing in my high heels and everything. I don't know how I did it. Okay, lift your toes. Spread all of your toes. Now again, I'm just gonna use my hands as an example. Spread your toes like your hands, okay? Try and push just the big toes down and keep all the other little toes up. Okay, now again, this foot is quite well behaved. This foot, not so well behaved. <laughs> Watch out for clenching the booty or gripping or again, you know, cranking your neck to have a look. Okay, let's try and reverse it. So now I'm gonna have my big toes up and my little toes down, okay? I'm actually a bit better on that one. Now, if your big toes are up, really try and stick them up as if you want to go hitchhiking, okay? Let's really try and exaggerate the moves. And then release it. Okay, have another little walk out. Okay, so I'm gonna bring you down onto the floor momentarily. Um, we're gonna do a really decent ankle stability one to get us down onto the floor. Take the arms out like a little zombie, pull the shoulders back, lift your heels barely. Now my feet are in underneath me. Drop down as if you were sliding down the wall behind you. Now, I don't know if you can see that I'm sitting on my calves and I'm currently cheating. So I'm gonna lift up off my calves. I'm gonna try and get my back really nice and straight. Plug the big toes into the floor and lift those heels as high as you possibly can. Okay, try and get the chest up. Get off the calves if you're sitting on them. Okay, please make sure you're safe, that you're happy. And then gently does it, sit it down. Okay, my feet are on fire. <laughs> okay, give your feet a little wiggle. Just have a little play around. That's it. Okay, just wiggle them out, they move. So your feet, the ankle joint, um, just pretend these are my feet, so you can flip flop. You can kind of scoop them in and out, like so. Okay. You can also kind of get a bit of a circle. And you know what, while you're here, why not do the wrists as well, okay? Because again, if you're hanging on for dear life on the brakes, if you're on the computer a lot, your wrists will need some TLC as well. Okay, I have previously made a video on wrists, and um, I'll post the link to that down here, okay? So don't forget if you're in Dublin that I do do classes. I have my Yoga for Cyclists classes. Um, and don't forget, as I said, about the cycling trip to Spain in March, okay? And that really is a great trip. We had 26 degrees last year, so it was absolutely superb. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, now, what I want to show you is a couple of little cheats guides. Now you can do these sitting on the couch at night. So depending on your mobility. Take the ankle where you can reach it with your hand and literally force it, no, force is the wrong word and I'm gonna, um, I can't edit that word, okay, because it's out of my mouth now. Circle it, <laughs> mobilize it, make the joint mobile, 
okay? So never force it, okay? Force is completely the wrong word. What I want you to do is lubricate the joint. Okay, so if you think about the wheel on your car, if it was stuck or something, okay? You wanna just unstick it, okay? So you would gently tweak it, okay? You might just start to rock the car backwards forward to loosen it out. Okay, and then, uh, you know, eventually, hopefully that wheel would start to move for you. Okay, so here's a really nice just way to move the ankle. Now your toes, you're just gonna, with your hand, bend them forwards and back. Now, if you have really crispy toes, and you know, you'll know if you have crispy toes, okay? You know what I mean. Okay, again, just, you might just prefer to wiggle them out um, and play this little piggy went to the market, okay? And I know you're probably laughing and thinking that's crazy. It's not, okay? You gotta get each joint working separately. Okay, now do grab your big toe, okay? And with your big toe, I'm gonna get you to draw a nice big circle. Now I'm holding the foot sturdy because I don't want the knee and the leg to just move. I wanna isolate this joint, okay? now. I'll Again, I don't want you to try and pull your toe off, okay? That's not the object of the game. Okay, the object is just to get it moving and to wiggle it, okay? The, the same way you would, you know, with a baby's toe when you used to play with them, okay? So just give it a little rotate backwards and forwards, okay? And then what we're gonna do is stick your fingers in between each toe, okay? now. Depending on your mobility, of course. All right, so just sit there for a minute. Now, if you have nail varnish dividers, okay, you'll know what I'm talking about. You can pop them in between your toes and you could leave them there for a few minutes while you went off and did the other foot. You can be a bit of a MacGyver, you know, you could get tissue paper, wind some tissues through the toes or stick like a, a cork, you know, a wine bottle cork would fit in there quite nicely as well. Okay, so that's kind of a, a, a cheat's guide. And here's your toe yoga. Look, you can do the splits with your hands. Okay, again, you don't, you can take out that and you can bend the toe right down. So that's the one we were doing where we were standing and we were bending the toe back. All right, give it a wiggle out while it's nice and warm. And then when you're ready, let's do the other leg. Now do make sure your knee is happy, of course. Okay, so nice big circles, lubricate the joint. Okay, there's a bit of clicking going on here in this one. Now, clicking and grinding, again, you know what? If something is continuously clicking and it's causing pain, you really do need to go and investigate that. Uh, grinding is a different matter as well, okay? Again, that really needs to be investigated, okay? Joints should not grind, there should be space between the two bones. Okay, anyone who's had gout um, as well, you know, you might have uh, know about that pain in your big toe. Um, and again, you need to look at your diet for that. Um, you know, just, you can Google, there's loads of things you can eat. Um, and you know, getting, it's uric acid that causes gout. So getting that uric acid out of your diet. Um, off the top of my head, I know it's asparagus is one of the, the big ones, but I'm sure there's loads more culprits out there. Okay, so when you're ready, play with the toes, isolate the toe joints. Okay, and again, elderly people, um, now obviously, you know, you can't just go up and grab an elderly person's foot and start wiggling their toes. What might be nicer for them is in a hot bubble bath is just getting them to wiggle their toes, um, you know, or giving, you know, reflexology, who doesn't love reflexology, or just a really nice sort of foot massage okay so you know if if you have an elderly person at home and their toes are rather crispy okay you know what i mean by crispy they're kind of just not they're solid then you know just just be cautious with them if you want to get some mobility into them okay and then when you're ready let's find just the big toe circle the big toe Now the last time I did a foot video, I actually had to take it down because I got quite a few comments from, um, you're gonna laugh, people with foot fetishes, okay? If you're watching this video and you're one of those people, just 
just watch it in the piece of your own home okay please don't comment on it i'm not interested okay so the rest of us are here for physio okay but if you're one of those people who's here for other reasons that's fine work away enjoy the video i just you know what i don't want to know <laughs> okay so when you're ready pop the fingers in between the toes and again here you could use your nail varnish thingy okay or as i said you could macgyver it you could just make up something and just pop in so just creating space in between the toes Okay, so our toes are like our fingers, they should be able to spread, okay? They really should be dexterous, okay? If they're not dexterous, again, if you're not able to roll through the foot, the gait has to change, the hip will be affected, the back will be affected, you'll start shuffling, and as I said, then you're leaving yourself very vulnerable to accidents, okay? And that's not what you need or want. So let's get those toes going. Okay, so you know what? These ones you can do at night time, sitting in front of the couch. I'm gonna give you one last one, okay? And again, this is sort of quite advanced, so please do be cautious. Sitting on your heels. Now, if you struggle to sit in this position, okay? Option number one, I'm gonna give you option number one. Option number one will be to sit down for just a few seconds, and then you know what? Get up off them, okay? And then sit back down, and then get back up off them. So when I broke my ankle and I was trying to rehab it, this was the only thing that really worked to help to get the mobility fully back into the ankle. So, you know, just do that a couple of times. And again, the more the merrier because, uh, you know, you're not gonna fix it in one day. If you're quite mobile, okay, and you can sit here comfortably, great. Take your hands out behind you, nice and strong. And we're gonna just roll back and lift the knees. Okay, now again, that's not for everybody, okay? It's, I'm able for it, obviously. Okay, and again, creating a lovely mobility into my ankles. And then gently does it, release it. Okay, so obviously you can sit up, you can wiggle your feet around a little bit more, and you can do um, that video, obviously, as many times as you wish. So I hope that you enjoyed today's ankle mobility and ankle stability. Please remember to like and subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to check out my website, www.SineadEKennedy, because I have loads and loads of uh, physio, Pilates, yoga classes, all going on in Dublin and Ireland. And then obviously we do our trip to Spain. And then I also have the yoga spa breaks in luxury five-star hotels in Ireland. Okay, so I hope to see you on a trip, in a class, or like and comment below. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.